Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official dart dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. It will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If you're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too! And there's a balcony! Whoa, this is nice. And warm. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but ready? I am so ready to beat you.
Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pit Peg. I wouldn't be so sure, Cape Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. I can see why they left that tie. I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. <sighs> yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. Oh, shit. That was wild. But we have a tent now. Thanks for everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. Man, wish we still had Brody around. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. Damn, I could paint this shit. No worries, we don't have to build a fire tonight. Ah, damn, that fucking redneck hit me hard. I hit him harder though. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower after Daniel will be bliss. It's hot dog man. Time to be a kid again. Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. Fill her up. Yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bag. Gross. Hey!
Daniel will love this. You're my new best friend, Mushroom. Some things do not change. I wasn't planning on getting rid of his bag, but... What's that? Uh... It was in Brody's car. He gave it to you. Uh... Well, uh... Yeah. You stole it from him? I don't know. It looked cool, and... You stole before, so I thought... No, man. Stealing is bad. We only do it if we really need it, okay? Plus, Brody was super nice with us. If it's bad, then why did you do it? Hey, we had to. It, it was different. I don't want you stealing around, understand? Yeah, okay. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. A real bed. <laughs> Can't believe I'm that happy to stay at a motel. Daniel will be warm in this. <sighs> That's a good thing. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Oh, shit. Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this? Or she'll get into trouble, too. You're thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. 
right now? You said I could have a coat <sighs> or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I'll try, Daniel. But... I need to protect you now. At any cost. I don't care. I'm not a baby. You don't need to protect me. Yes, I do. It's just you and me now. And I won't fail you. <laughs> what are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Nothing is wrong with you. You're... different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking... Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. <laughs> he used to tell me bedtime stories, too.
once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. were alone and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big All right. Come on, man. Focus. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. <laughs> 